Here's problem 30, 30. Two long parallel wires separated by 4 millimeters each carry a current of 24 amps. These two currents are in the same direction. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field at a point that is between the wires and 1 millimeter from one of the two wires? Let's try to imagine what's going on here. Let's draw a y-axis and an x-axis and one, two, three, four and we'll set up one wire with a current coming out of the page towards you, let's call that I1 24 amps and put the other wire at the origin here I2 which is also 24 amps we want to find the magnetic field at a point that is one millimeter from one of the wires so if I look at I1 Let's select y equal 3 as our point. And if I point my thumb in the direction of I1 coming out of the page as I've shown it, then the magnetic field will be going circularly around it like this. And in particular, at y equal 3, this magnetic field will be going to the right in the positive x direction like this. Tangent on that circle. If I look at... Uh, the other current, y, I2, there will be a magnetic field coming around it at that point, something like this. According to the right-hand rule, that field will be going to the left, like this. So if we wanted to find the magnetic field that exists at this point, we're going to have to subtract one of these magnetic fields from the other, whichever one is smaller will be subtracted from the larger one. Let's calculate the two magnetic fields. We have B1 which is equal to, if I can get this thing to write, mu naught I or 2 pi R1 and that's equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times the current 24 amps over 2 pi times R1 which would be 1 millimeter away 1 times 10 to the minus 3 and what does that give me? So I have 2 times 10 to the minus 7 times 24 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 3, 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3. And that's going to the right like this. For the other magnetic field, B2, that's going to be mu naught I2, this would have been I1 up here, over 2 pi R2. And that's equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 24 over 2 pi. And we're 3 millimeters away. 3 times 10 to the minus 3. And that's going to be. Um, a third of that, so that's going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 Tesla, and that's going to the left, like this. So um, B2 is smaller than B1, so our net field at that point is actually going to be in magnitude of B1 minus B2. So that's going to be 4.8 minus 1.6, all that times 10 to the minus 3 and so that's going to be uh, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3 Tesla and since the bigger one minus the smaller one that's going to be in the direction of the bigger one so that is actually going to be to the right like as I've drawn it so that will be our net magnetic field 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3 Tesla to the right 
if I have both of these um, uh, currents coming out of the page as shown.